Hey Interwebbers, so today I want to talk all about why I chose the Autel X-Star Premium over the DJI Phantom 4 Pro. So I had originally already decided to buy the Phantom 4 Pro because it is like the go-to drone for all business. And then I was at Best Buy, I was going to go buy one, it's uh, looking there, and I saw this orange thing, and I'm like, what the heck is that? I had never even seen, heard, or anything about it. The price was, you know, $400 cheaper, so I went home and did research because I didn't want to go buy just some crappy knockoff. And I could not find one negative review. So I looked a little bit deeper and saw the differences between the DJI and the Autel X-Star Premium. And I just wanted to go through what those differences are and why I chose this. Now the DJI has a lot of advantages over the Autel. It has a little bit more flight modes, like the follow me without having to follow the remote, which is kind of nice, but I've heard that's a little buggy. And it also has more of an open source uh, software that a lot of people have added on to. Those are two very good things, and I've actually found some other information that is actually even more uh, advantageous over the X-Star Premium. Now both are fantastic drones, but the differences weren't enough to cover the $400 price tag difference, and you can't beat that difference for the few extra features that you get with the Phantom 4. And the camera on the Autel is great. I mean, look at these shots. You can't get any better. It does control very well in the wind. Although I almost crashed it, and you can watch that video there, because of heavy winds. One of the advantages that the Autel remote has over the DJI remote is the remote itself has a nice little LCD screen that gives you all kinds of flight information, speed, height, battery, angle of the camera, everything. I mean, it, it actually shows in degrees the angle of the camera instead of just, not just showing the tilt, angle, the tilt, but what the actual angle is, which was great. You don't need to have the phone to fly this. On top of that, the remote also has four extra buttons on the remote. One starts the motors, which is kind of handy. I mean, it's very easy to start. It has a launch and land button, which I really like. It also has a home button, which the home button, you can do a couple different things. If you don't change anything, the home is exactly where it took off and it will come back and hover right over that home spot. It also has a pause button, which will pause anything if it's an automatic mode, like if you have the waypoints going on or if you have it going in the orbit mode or the follow me mode and you need to stop it because it's about to hit a tree because it doesn't have object avoidance on it which is not the best but it is what it is so you get the pause button also on the remote so it'll immediately stop doing what it's doing unless it's at a very critical battery level and it's landing you're not going to stop it from landing it's coming down and i've had that happen one time and luckily i was already over the home point one thing I do like about this, and I don't know if the DJI does it or not, is it constantly monitors the battery level and how far away it is from the home spot. So if it gets so far away and it's at 40%, it knows it's gonna take it 10% to get back to the home spot, it automatically instigates that home feature and it comes on home, it flies to a certain level and hovers over the home spot and then you can land it. Or it can land itself, it will land itself on that in that feature. You can find a lot of reviews on the Autel. I'm not gonna sit here and do an in-depth review because it's been done, overdone, and everything else, and there are some really good reviews on it. So there's no need for me to go on a review. I'm just telling you why I chose this over the Phantom. One of the things I saw in the reviews was that they had awesome customer service. And I had seen people who had, had interactions with their customer service, and their customer service was fast and responsive. Now, from what I understand from DJI, that is not the case. That is a big thing for me because I wanna know that if something goes wrong with this, they are there for me. Basically, I found that there are a handful of advantages that the DJI has over the Autel, but those advantages do not equate to $400 or more than what I spent for the Autel. And the Autel is a great little drone. I have actually thrown it beyond its limits. I've, I've flown it beyond its flight distance and it's come back to me. Um, I have bumped a tree with it and it was fine. Uh, little things like that. And it has just, it's been a trooper. Now I have nothing against the Phantoms. They are fantastic drones and DJI in general, very good company. And yes, I would get a Phantom 4, but I don't need a Phantom 4. I've got what I need right now. Now I hope I gave you some useful information on why I got the Autel and maybe it will help you make a decision for yourself. You can help support this channel by liking and sharing the video. And if you like this kind of video and you wanna see more in the future, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. In my next video, I'm gonna introduce a new series about drone crashes and it's something I think you will really enjoy. So make sure you don't miss it and subscribe to the channel. 
I will see you in the next video. Bye. And the next sit. <laughs> Relax, dude. Basically, I found there are a handful of it. Jeez, oh, Pete's.